Welcome back. Today we're going to be installing fiber optics into our Imperial Star Destroyer. We'll start with the top deck and using a 0.3 millimeter drill bit, we will start drilling out the holes for the fiber optics. Drilling the sides is relatively straightforward. You'll want to make sure though that you move the Dremel in and out from the work surface instead of moving the deck in and out of the Dremel. This will help keep it from breaking the drill bits. You should be able to see the holes that you've drilled from both the exterior and the interior of the surface. We will be using these holes to thread the fiber optics through. At some point, you're bound to break a drill bit in your model. As you can see here, I have done so on the top part of the top deck. I will be removing it using a pair of tweezers in order to get a good grip on it and just pulling it out. In some extreme circumstances, you may need to twist it backwards in order to get it out. I've also found it best not to re-drill this hole. Before drilling for fiber optics in the bridge, you'll want to remove these two posts on either side of the tower for even distribution. I'll use my Dremel in order to cut out those two posts. It's not a difficult task and doesn't need to be perfect. All you're doing is opening up the back of the bridge for you to access to install fiber optics. Once all of our holes are drilled, we'll move our attention towards the fiber optic cable. We'll cut a length about 6 to 8 inches long in order to make it easy for us to work with. From here, we'll need to strip the casing to prepare it. After it's cut to length, I'll use a pair of wire cutters to take off the last half inch or so of the cable. This end will attach to the LED and we'll need to strip the casing so we can combine multiple cables from one LED source. Here's what it should look like after you're done stripping the cable. Moving on to the other side of the cable, we'll remove all of the casing except for about an inch. We'll use our hobby knife to cut along the path in order to cut the casing without cutting the fiber optics inside. Once we have our cut, we will use our fingers in order to separate the casing and revealing the fiber optics inside. We'll pull those apart and make our way pulling it down through the cable, removing the casing. Be sure to grab all of the filaments. We'll continue to pull at the fi filaments to remove them from the casing. We'll want to leave about an inch or so of the casing intact between the uh, two ends. This is to keep all of the filaments grouped together. Once we're done removing it from the casing, we can use a pair of pliers to snip it apart, and we're all set to wire the ship. I've learned through practice that it's best to attach the fiber optic cable to the ship somehow. This way, if your hand slips and you drop one or the other work piece, you don't remove all of your hard work. Threading the fiber optics is difficult to capture on video. I find best practice is to hold the workpiece up to the light so you can easily see the holes and then use a pair of tweezers to thread each individual filament through. After you've installed a dozen or so, feel free to remove the clip as it will, the friction of each hole will keep them in place. However, you may find that it's useful to maintain it so you can keep the extra filaments out of the way. You'll want to continue pulling from one specific side so you keep the filaments from getting knotted. If a particular hole is giving you difficulty, feel free to use a 30 gauge wire in order to poke it back through. The wire is stronger than the filament and will help clear out any debris that may be left in the hole. I have now completed installing all the fiber optics in the top level. I will refrain from gluing these in place though until I'm done with all three decks. This way I can move the individual cable and position the uh, fiber optic cable in the optimal position to go through all three. 
I will need to feed it through, and having the flexibility makes it easier. With the fiber optics for the second deck installed, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I feed the fiber optic cable from the first deck through. I'm going to loosen the fiber optics on the second deck to make some room and a pocket for the first deck cable to flow through. And if you notice, I have a heat shrink wrap over top of the extra filaments. I use that to group them all together. I'll put the clip back on it to keep it from sliding off. I'll continue then to feed the cable right back through into the opening that I created and pull it tight keeping the or getting the loop of the extra filaments back through that hole and available in the second deck. By putting this through the hole that I have created in the back of the second group, it allows me to independently to manipulate each cable which is important for adjusting the position for the final length so they can align up together and attach to a single LED inside the ship. This process will be repeated with both of these cables for the third layer, and then again all three layers will be fished through to the actual ship. Feel free to either cut the extras or fish them through now, all three layers are done, and the fiber optics are grouped together. I'm ready to glue them in place, but first I want to make sure that I avoid the fiber optics covering uh, the slot there. At this point, we have all of the fiber optics run to the command decks, and we're ready to glue them in place. We'll want to separate them apart again in order to glue it one level at a time starting with the top layer. The gluing process just requires a small but constant stream of glue there in order to make sure that each fiber optic is touched by the glue and then we will pull the fiber optics through to pull the glue into the hole. After you've done all the gluing, go ahead and pull the fiber optics gently to pull any slack and to pull the glue into the holes. Then go ahead and attach some clamps to the front and to the back to ensure that the glue dries with the decks tight up against each other. After the glue's dried, we're good to go ahead and start trimming the fiber optics. You can start by wholesale trimming it, but you'll want a pair of tweezers or cuticle clippers for the final trim. If any glue escape to the outer outside, just use your hobby knife to peel it away. White glue is very easy to remove excess from the ship. Now we're ready to install the fiber optics on the main hull of the ship. We'll be installing them along each edge. But first, there's a little bit more dremeling to be done. We'll need to make space for the fiber optics at the nose and at each tab on the sides. All we're doing here is cutting out the extra plastic so the drum or the fiber optic does not have to go through three layers of plastic. At the nose, we'll be cutting out a little bit of a relief because there is a piece that goes between the top hull and the bottom hull to align them that the fiber optic filament has to travel through. So using our Dremel, we will just cut out on the back side each of these tabs in order to clean the edge and make it easy to install the fiber optics. You don't need to spend much time working on this as accuracy is not a major concern here. Now we're ready to drill out the holes. Again, make sure that you move the Dremel into the material, not the material to the Dremel. I use the same technique for installing the fiber optics that I did on the command decks. I'll go ahead and use a clamp 
to keep the spare filaments offset from the rest of them. And this allows me to easily continuously grab from the same side to minimize the tangles between the filaments. And with each one, I'll use my pair of tweezers to thread it through. The ship is almost complete at this point. I've gone ahead and installed the command X to the top deck. And then I went ahead and taped over that. Then I've combined the two sides hulls into one filament cable. And you can see the filaments are all glued in place there after the white glue has dried. I've spaced the two cables together and cut a hole out to the side for them to sit flush against the hull. And I've taken the extra filaments for the moment and threaded them through the docking bay. I'm keeping the extra filaments just be in case I need any extras later on for the final bit. You may be able to see there's a slight gap between the command decks. So I've used electrical tape to cover that up. So if you do notice the gap, all you see is a black uh, background to it instead of the light streaming through where it's not supposed to be. Now we are all set for the final step of fiber optics, which is going to be installing them on the top hull itself. We'll use these from the bridge in order to power it at those four locations. Drilling these holes is slightly more complicated as you want to drill on the side, but you'll need to go down at an angle in order to make it go through the plastic. So even at the angle, we're going to make sure we pull the tool through the material, not the material through the tool. Otherwise, it's all the same. I'll continue to use my tweezers to thread the fiber optics through each hole and then to pull it through once it's established itself on the other side. Once those are done, you are all set for all of the lighting and ready to move on to wiring it all up. If you noticed, I did not glue these top hull pieces in place yet. I will do that as a final task before I glue the ship together as we'll want to make sure we can align the top hull and the bottom hull together because they will be powered by one LED.